The navigation available on your storefront is defined in that storefront's theme. In this theme, there are two menus. You have the main menu here, which has three top level options, and the footer menu, which is here under quick links with just one option. If you want to add more menus to your theme, then you need to edit the HTML of the theme. The navigation options in these menus is defined under online store and then navigation. You can see we have a footer menu and a main menu. To edit one of these menus, click on the menu name. Here we see the options which are in the menu and we can add a new menu item. Let's add a new menu item. So we can give it a name and we can create and we can then add a link. Links can be one of the content types created in Shopify. So here we have a home page, search, collections. They're the product collections that have been created under products in the left hand menu. Individual products themselves, pages. These are the pages you've defined under online store. Blogs and blog posts, again, defined under online store and policies. You can define a selection of different content types to add to a single menu. If we, for example, want to add a collection, we could add the collection Baby Toys. It'll take by default the name Baby Toys. Adding the filter collection by tags option will mean that only products with that tag will show under that category by default. And then add it. Let's add a second content type. Let's add a page and we'll add About Us. Now, if we want to organize these menus, we can drag and drop to edit the order, or we can create nested menus. So if we want to have under catalog baby toys, because that is a collection of baby toys, and if we then decide we want to add something else under where it says catalog, we select another selection, which is, say, plain organic soaps. And then we create a nested menu. If we then want to create a second nested menu here. So we're going to have here, we're going to have one nested menu called catalog and another called contact and underneath is going to be about us. And let's add a third menu item here. Let's add the blog and let's call it. Let's add one of our blogs and let's call it blog. So we've defined three menu items here. If we save that menu and then we go to the site itself. We can see here that we've got catalog with those two options and contact with that one option and then a separate one called blog. Returning to the navigation main menu, collection and search filters determine the filters which are available when you view a collection or view the results of a search. So for example here, availability and price are going to be filters available. We can add another filter. Let's add product type and vendor. We can also add product options. These are the options which are used in variant products. So for example, we add primary color and save that. If we go to a product and if we go to a variant product and look at the variant, we can see the product options, primary color and scent, and that's what is available in the filter. So if we then go back to the shop and we look at the catalog, plain organic soaps, we can see here the filters which are available. If you remove a menu item or remove a page on your Shopify store, you need to set up a URL redirect. This is for two reasons. Firstly, Google does not like broken links and therefore it would, if you have broken links on your site, it will reduce the search engine performance of your site. Secondly, if someone has linked to your site from an external site and they come to a page which has a broken link, that is not a very good user experience. Here you can set, see two redirects which have been created. Anything which goes to this URL will automatically get directed to that URL. We can create our own new, um, redirects. And so here we just have the original URL and the URL that you wish it to go to. Thanks for watching this video. For more content, please subscribe to our channel or check out our Amazon playlist. You can also see more hints and tips at our website, which is vendlab.com blog.